Oh hey there my fellow Tarhans, I'm Captain Beans and welcome to High Fleet Build where as you can see here I have found another interesting idea for a build video where I'm going to see just how good are these flight decks as armor. Now this isn't my completely original idea for this thing to be used as armor but in fact a comment from Nieszczak Nieszczak suggested to make a video about these flight decks and so I decided to do it why not because I found the idea interesting and so you can see here I've built this ship now the main body of the ship it's the same as my design that I've used to test out spaced armor in one of my videos so if you haven't seen that check that out by the way whenever you want to but let's see how flight decks work as armor and so let's get into the advantages and disadvantages of flight decks as armor okay so the first advantage of flight decks is that they are extremely light and just so and just to illustrate this flight deck is only a little bit heavier than a regular aluminium hull piece two by one hull piece but here's the thing flight decks have a durability of 100 which is half of the durability of this one the thick armor plate so you can see the large armor has the durability of 200 but look at the mass and look at ma the mass of this one so flight decks are just about one tenth the weight of a large armor piece but it has half of the durability which that's kind of the reason why I find this kind of interesting now if you compare this to a reinforced steel hull piece now the reinforced hull does have a durability of 120 which is only a little bit more than flight decks but it is still like almost five times heavier so you can see the mass is 45 tons this is still 11 like almost 12 tons and so what makes the flight deck really good as light armor is that it is basically the lightest kind of armor that you can get but it also is extremely effective because it is just as light as uh, oh sorry almost as durable as half of this large armor and this is even true for small thick armor pieces which have the same durability as flight decks but they don't take up the same area as the flight deck and also they're extremely heavy so yeah that's one really big advantage of flight decks as armor if you have a bunch of these around your ship even you even if you have a fairly thick layer you can still move around quite easily which I'm going to show you a little bit later and you will see so over here you can see the things that flight decks can defend really well against which is basically just machine gun fire now in the middle here you can see all of artillery guns and this is stuff that flight decks can defend somewhat well against but they but it cannot survive for very long and over here are all of the things that are extremely deadly against flight deck armors so machine gun fire flight deck armor can defend really well against machine gun fire and small caliber fire now 
Artillery fire, especially with larger calibers, like 180 millimeter calibers, flight decks, they can definitely survive one or two volleys from, from these guns, but it definitely cannot survive sustained damage for a long time. Cruise missiles. Cruise missiles can definitely destroy plane deck armor like it's anything really. Some things that are extremely deadly against flight decks are anything that is explosive or has an AOE effect. Now what does that mean? So anything that is explosive, it can be R5 Zenith missiles, it can be bombs or rockets of any kind, either from close quarter combat or from aerial strikes. Area of effect. Now, of course, all of the explosive stuff does have an area of effect, but also proximity fuses are also known to be quite deadly against light armor, especially flight decks. If flight decks receive sustained fire from proximity fuses it's going to get destroyed really easily and this and your ship will not be happy about that now to counteract some of the things that flight decks are vulnerable to you could space out the armor and what will this do? This will help ease the problem of R5 Zenith missiles because by spacing out the armor, you could protect your main body of the ship from the AOE radius of explosion from anything that is explosive. Now, of course, proximity fuses are still going to be a big problem because proximity fuses, they can destroy flight decks really easily and once it's destroyed, the body of the ship is exposed to proximity fuses and you're dead, basically. <laughs> but despite all of these disadvantages, there is still this one big advantage that it's kind of overlooked, but it's incredibly simple and it's really good so let me just show you let me just show you right so you grab one of these and you put it here boom you can attach planes to flight decks <gasps> oh my god you can attach aircraft to flight decks <gasps> oh my god i did not know that holy shit <laughs> uh, but yeah, one really big advantage of flight decks is that you can attach planes to it. Of course, it's a flight deck. That's what this stuff was meant for. Okay, but silly jokes aside, there's also one thing that I would like to test these flight decks against. And you'll see what it's going to be. So over here, I have another variation of this flight deck armored ship, which basically what I've decided to do to do is just layer a bunch of these flight decks. It has four layers of flight decks up, to up top, and it has two layers of flight decks on the sides of the ship. And it only has some armor at the bottom because I don't think that's going to be necessary for this test and so let's go test it out and my fellow Tarhans welcome to Gerat where I'm going to be making this test will you please shut the fuck up I'm trying to talk here Okay, never mind that. Let's put this design to the test. Now, 
some people might call this the torture test, but I feel like that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration. But we'll see what happens. So, I have this design spaced out from the main fleet. 300 kilometers away, but I don't think this distance really matters. But what matters is that I'm going to send just a normal missile at this ship. Да ладно, Пётр, что ты? Это обычная ракета. Okay. Oh wow. That missile definitely destroyed like three layers of flight decks. You can see up top two layers of flight decks were destroyed and on the side one layer was destroyed. So that's kind of interesting. Let's send another one. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. This ship survived two nuclear missiles. I mean, the nuclear missiles definitely shaved off that armor. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And it definitely damaged the ship quite a bit and definitely killed some crew members. But holy shit, this thing survived? What conclusion can we make from this test? Well, one, flight decks are kind of effective against nuclear missiles if you just layer enough of them. And the second conclusion that we can make from this test is that nuclear missiles in High Fleet are really fucking weak. And so, with this pile of nuclear remains, let's send another one. Let's send another missile. This ship is still alive. Three nuclear missiles sent to this ship, and it still survived. Actually, I'm starting to think it's because the bridge is well armored. That's why this ship has survived. But the plane deck armor definitely did not survive against nuclear missiles. And so, with this pile of nuclear remains, let's get back to the building site. So, welcome back to the building site, where I'm just going to say, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was very nice, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.